एवरी वन हिप रिप्लेसमेंट नो एडेस इज ए कॉमन सर्जरी नेक्स्ट टू द नी रिप्लेसमेंट मोस्टली इट वॉज डन फॉर एवेस्कुलर नेक्रोसिस और इन एल्डरली पीपल बिकॉज ऑफ फ्रैक्चर ऑफ द बॉल वॉट इज ए नेक ऑफ फेमर ऑल्सो so routine hip replacement surgery takes around 1 to 1 and a half hour in a complicated case it might double the time also so it is a common surgery commonly performed operation the common risk for any operation is infection infection because we need to cut open there is a big biggest risk apart from other operations hip replacement the uh, other main complication is dislocation of the hip if the ball it can happen in multiple reasons one is like the tissue neurologically if it's not good then the chance of dislocation will be high even if you operate on a normal person out of 100 there is a 7% or 7 people can have a chance of dislocation so if the errors are increased if it is not properly placed either cup or ball the chance of dislocation might also increases to 20% so dislocation is the most common complication in the hip surgery and the second thing is in the hip surgery main thing is we need to balance the limb length means equally we need to get the length for both limbs together that is the main challenge in the hip operation so we need to assess the millimeter side also should not be lengthened or shortened so we need to get accurate length in the hip replacement surgery that's the most challenging and most troublesome part also so unlike knee replacement patient will have little bit pain in um, one or two days but hip replacement people were more satisfied they can walk next day like knee replacement but the pain their pain when compared to the knee replacement is very very less so more satisfied patients when compared for the hip or knee is hip replacement patients are more satisfied they can walk easily without much pain in the second day and they have to put entire weight of the body if it is well done no issues in that part so pain is less when compared to the knee replacement in the hip surgeries coming to the various knee hip implants unlike knee generally mostly we'll say that it is like a cobalt chrome alloy combined with uh, titanium stainless steel alloy these are the alloys commonly used in the knee replacement and these are the common alloys in the hip also but the bearings what we come across is ceramic and poly the ball or the cup side the poly the bearing because wear and tear will be there so we'll say ceramic and poly is a good for long standing means the longevity is good and there is other options like ceramic and ceramic but they will have little bit of sounds and metal on poly these be is preferred for depends upon the age expectancy of the person how long they will live the choice of the implants also will be given if you seeing for a long lasting longevity ceramic and poly right now the research says it is more longer staying or more longevity for the implant the main benefits for hip replacement surgery is first thing is the pain second thing is the movement and able to walk pain free so in the elderly if you got a neck or femur fracture there is a operation is compulsory because they, you can't search for alternatives in that case we need to make them walk otherwise they will sink in the bed not only thing he in the ball you can replace the ball if below the ball it's difficult to fix the fracture that will put a rod or plate that will take some time to healing but unlike in ball replacements there the patient can walk next day in these people mostly these fractures happens in the elderly people if you don't do it they will sink in the bed so surgery is a must in those ages also we need to take a risk and coming to the young people arthritis hip arthritis because of ankylosing spondylitis generally seen at 20 to 20 years 20 to 25 years there is a common age group or rheumatoid arthritis people who get most common if hip arthritis or they will suffer with hip arthritis they will affected at younger age such type of people requires hip replacement at an early age to tackle their pain and better mobility so for any patient we require hip preparation from challenging from our side is maintaining the limb length discrepancy means ideally we need to get the both limbs together to the same height that is most challenging and routine precautions depends upon the age we need to take care we need to assess the spinal issues also most of these people will suffer with the back pain and spinal problems also or pelvic tilt sometimes we will say lordosis excessive arch of the back 
So while doing the hip replacement, these people, we need to assess the bike and any other joints also involved or not. And precautions wise, uh, for any surgery, we need to take a prior test, all the investigations to be done and we need to assess the heart and lung status before surgery. Mm -hmm.